So my name is Helga Gilmeister. I'm one of the lecturers working at the Department of Psychology here at the University of Essex. Much of my work is conducted at the Centre for Brain Science. I use uh, EEG, which is short for electroencephalography, which is a way of measuring the electrical potentials that the brain produces. It's not difficult at all to learn how to place a cap and to gel the electrodes. Uh, it perhaps takes a little more time to learn to see what is a good EEG signal as you're measuring it and how to get a participant to produce a nice um, you know nice looking brain waves while they're engaged in a task and then of course like with any technique it takes a little while to learn how to analyze and interpret uh, the data but to get started it's very easy and we routinely do it um, with undergraduate students but specifically with master students here as well. Hello, I'm Chelsea. I'm a student here at the Psychology Department at University of Essex. I'm considering a Master's by Dissertation to further gain knowledge and experience in a particular field um, and hopefully go on to a PhD in clinical psychology. Um, I've loved my experience at Essex. I've loved the people I've met, um, the lecturers I've met. I've loved the experience I've been offered and gained. So I love all the state-of-the-art facilities that Essex has to offer um, and the fact that I get hands-on experience using the facilities. My research is about how we experience our own bodies. So I use the EEG to measure um, event-related potentials. Those are little characteristic kind of waveforms that the brain produces in response to touch that we feel on our bodies. Uh, and I also use it to look at how we process the sight of our own and other people's bodies in our visual system in the brain as well. We use EEG to look uh, not just at perceptual processes but also attentional processes and the processes related to memory and language. We, we have a group looking at the functional significance of the EEG, so what the brain waves actually mean. Um, and they're looking at um, oscillations produced in the brain and whether we can change those oscillations using uh, modulatory techniques that we also have here. So EEG is routinely used in the medical field for um, as part of the diagnosis and just describing the symptomatology of um, epilepsy. Um, it's used to look at the integrity of the sensory pathways, the sort of early sensory pathways. It can also be used for neurofeedback applications, for example. Um, you can learn to control your own brain waves in a way, um, and that can help you to reduce your own feelings of anxiety, for example. Um, and you can, you can use the, the feedback from the brain waves to drive wheelchairs uh, just with your thoughts so there's a lot of very exciting applications of the EEG. I teach on the uh, methods for cognitive neuroscience module um, which is a, a module that um, shows students hands-on how the, the various equipments that we have in the CBS work. Um, so there's uh, lectures dedicated to learning how to place an EEG cap and how to look at the data how to record EEG. One of the nice things about um, studying here is that each of these lectures are taught by people who actually routinely use these techniques in their everyday research. So um, you get taught by a real expert um, whose day-to-day -day life involves using this equipment that they're showing you. So you get a real insight into what you can do with a, with a piece of equipment.